Hey, everyone, and welcome to the Defining Your Life podcast, where we focus on living in our purpose, practicing presence, and activating our power in each moment. I'm Marsha Rell, your resident pep talk provider, and I invite you to join me as we continue to learn, lift each other up, and strive to level up together. Because we are never finished defining our lives, and it takes a village, so let's build one. Stay tuned for the episode. Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. If you can hear my voice, you are listening to the 52nd episode of Defining Your Life. We made it a whole year, y'all, a whole entire year, a year of commitment, a year of dedication, a year of not giving up, a year of growing. Thank you all for your support, for your shares, for your feedback. It all means so much to me. And it's my prayer that the 10 to 15 minutes or so that we spend together each week has been just as beneficial for you as it has been for me on this journey of defining our lives. Now, the journey is far from over. But after 52 episodes, I am going to take a quick pause to recharge, plan, and prep for what's next with the podcast. But don't worry, during this break, I'll still be sharing with you replays of some of the most popular episodes, and I encourage you to revisit an episode or two that may have really resonated with you along the way. I'm pleased to be able to say that there is now a full catalog of topics from which you can choose, and I hope that you do. Now, y'all, let me stress that a break does not mean done and over with. So I hope that you'll be here with me when we resume new episodes after this period of rest. But I want to make sure that I'm able to put my best foot forward when I come to you each week. And that means creating space to cultivate new seeds, as well as come back to you refreshed and energized. But first, a quick word on dreams. Now, as you know, right, dreams don't come true overnight and they are prone to change over time. But in order to see any dream realized, You have to be dedicated and committed to putting one foot in front of the other, committed to seeing it through, right? Or you may not see what you're seeing through, but seeing that thing in front of you through so that you can get to the next thing and the next thing. You may only see the first phase of the dream, act one, which will lead you to your ultimate dream, the one you haven't even finished dreaming up yet. But you have to do a little something to make it to that next scene. Act two of what is sure to be your personal blockbuster. There is nothing like seeing it pan out, seeing it come to fruition, whatever it is. And what a reward all its own to know that you did your part in your life to help make something marvelous happen. Do you believe that you can make something marvelous happen in your own life? Because you have to believe it wholeheartedly. I'm grateful for the opportunity, the ability to dream up new things and try them out and see where those new things take me. And then from those teeny tiny dreams, the desire to do something even bigger and better arises. That may be scary because you may not fully see how it could be done. But lean into the dream. That's why it's called a dream, because more than likely, it may have at some point seemed grander than anything that you could actually see as a reality for your life. But here's a tip. Don't encourage your dream to stay a dream. Coax that dream into reality. Make it tangible, not so big. And then once it is alive in your life, Open your eyes to the possibility of reaching that next mountain peak. Make your way and claim your dreams because the effort is truly worth it. 
If you're struggling with how to turn your dreams into reality, allow me to just share a couple of tips from a do something.org article entitled seven easy ways to make your dreams into reality. That makes it sound really, really easy. We know it's not that easy, (laughs) but easy enough that you can implement it in your day-to-day life, right? And I'm not gonna list them all here. I'm gonna link the article in the show notes for you to check out on your own. But the first tip that I'll share from the article is, what do you think? Dream big, don't limit yourself, right? And think outside the box. Remember, if it is immediately tangible, then it's probably too small. And you want to keep reaching, right? If you can reach up and snatch it right out the sky without having to assemble at least a little ladder to expand your reach, well, that dream isn't taking you very far physically or stretching you enough mentally. Next is one we all know. Stop comparing yourself to others. Listen, you never know when your dream will become your reality. But what you do know is that It certainly won't be making its way to your reality if you spend your time fixated on how someone else's dream came true first. And I would like to add as a sidebar that we really need to stop judging others based on how we believe they should be behaving or responding to what we may consider a dream life. This topic has come up with friends a few times recently. And we just can't judge people based on how we think we would react within the dreamlike circumstance it seems that they've been blessed with. From our view, it may look amazing, but was that even that person's dream at all? And so we are measuring their behavior against what we anticipate our behavior would be if we found ourselves within the same quote unquote favorable circumstances but we don't know their story and we don't know their dreams. So to sum that up, keep your eye on your own star, your dream. And then you don't have to worry about if someone else was grateful for the dream life we think they've been given. You have your own fish to fry. So fry them and eat up. Now, the last tip I'll share from the article today is to use your community. Your true community wants to see unfathomable dreams come true for you. They will coach you through, cheer, comfort, and love you through the storms and the deserts as you make your way toward what was promised for you. But they can't do any of those things unless you are choosing to go through to get to that ultimate dream. That's what was done for me on this journey. And I, again, want to thank everyone who had a hand in it because it takes a village. So tap into your village and pour into your village. That reciprocity is what is going to yield the biggest blossoms from those seeds you were committed to nurturing. Those seeds that will produce the likes of what you never could have imagined. I'd like to leave you with a few words from Kobe Bryant today as I continue to reflect on this last year of dedication to the podcast. Kobe said, dedication sees dreams come true. Thank you so much for listening and being a part of my dream. If what you have been hearing has been beneficial please do not forget to share, review, rate, and follow the podcast. This has been season one of Defining Your Life, y'all. I can't wait to chat with you all again very soon. Take care until then.